What's going on, fellas? We're gonna be testing this nozzle today. It's projected to produce about 180 kilowatts on waste oil and well over 500 kilowatts on diesel. I have changed the air orifice on this design a little bit. I'm interested to see what the higher velocities of air do. That's more what's going on here than anything. I'm interested to see because uh, the smaller the gap is between the nozzle and the fuel jet, the higher the velocity of that air is. And some conversations I've had in the past with Delicious De Blair mentioned that uh, something about the higher velocities and combustion promoting oxygen distribution. And it kind of like, it's like increasing the surface area of a reaction, so to say. The higher speeds cause an interface reaction on a higher level. So let's, we're gonna check that out. Um, another really cool idea that um, was mentioned by that individual was preheating the air. Um, now I have done oil preheating, which is a bad idea. It just leads to a bunch of fouling and didn't increase the performance much, but preheating the air, you could get the air almost, you know, a thousand degrees and that would help with the vaporization process. I do have a couple of devices that run on a pulse jet configuration that heats up this air chamber. But one of the cool things I like about that idea is it would act as a jet engine. If you send compressed air down an air channel and then it hits a region that's heated, your volumetric flow increases big time. The pressure wouldn't necessarily increase, but you could definitely pump more fuel by moving more flow. So I might, you might be seeing some pretty exotic builds here in the future on this, but um, for the most part, I've got a new burner set up here, new fabrication process. This one was easier to build than all the rest. So I've streamlined that process a little bit. I've been selling so many of these things that I've got to come up with a, a better way of making them so I can bring the cost down. I feel like I'd sell a lot more if I could get the cost down, but it just takes so long to build these things, I, I can't do it. Stainless steel isn't cheap either.
there's something about this particular design that likes the pulse jet. But that's good for preheating the air. I'm worried about fouling. I need to close this gate off a little bit, I think. It's got too much gate, maybe. So I may make the gate a little smaller. I don't like how much pulse jetting was taking place there. I need this thing to run for hours and hours on a kiln, so I can't have the pulse jetting effect on this one. It has to be clean burning. So we're gonna close the back door there. Make it a little bit smaller. The thing definitely runs different. I mean, the noise off of this thing is insane. It's so much louder. I don't know if that's because the nozzle or because the burner design, the new design. I'm pretty sure that nozzle's got a lot to do with it. That nozzle is screaming. Dude, jeez. I'm half tempted to let this thing run on diesel and see what it does before I change anything. I mean, as an experimenter, I think it's um, definitely worthy. Yeah, I think I should leave it as is. Let's see what this thing does on diesel in that configuration. The pulse jetting on that thing was incredible. I have not seen one pulse jet with that kind of power. You could feel the percussion from that sucker. It's not screwing around. I'm here to tell you. My neighbors are probably pissed. So, the question now is, is it the nozzle that's doing that or the burner? So, I'm not gonna be welding that nozzle onto this burner. I'm done doing that. From now on, they will all come bolted if you buy one so that you can take it apart and clean it. I've been just welding them in place and then it dawned on me. You know, these things do need cleaned after a few thousand hours and it would be easier if you could just take that nozzle off. So that's another thing that's gonna be changing about these. But uh, man, dude, incredible. Um, the noise is a problem for me. You know, I mean, it's cool and all. It definitely makes a good video and is really neat, but uh, I can't have something this loud, I don't think. That was loud, dude. I'm gonna have to get a decimal meter in on this one. I'm gonna say that was 105 decibels. Okay, guys, just for the sake of information, we gotta test this thing on diesel. We're gonna do a one liter burn right around 1,000 milliliters there. And we're gonna see what the difference is other than exorbitant cost. Some people don't have a choice though in their factory. They have to run diesel for stuff like this or
that was very interesting. We didn't get the blue flame all the way this time because as you can see, my line's still pretty dirtied up with some waste oil in there. If you're wondering why the color didn't go blue like we usually get, I didn't purge this line. Typically, I have a diesel line and a oil line, but uh, that didn't happen this time. I was so eager to leave the system as was, but uh, some pretty interesting stuff went down. Definitely going to want to sit there and look at the footage on this one. This kind of corroborates the notion I've mentioned in the past that there's no universal setting when it comes to diesel and waste oil. So I really need to make these things more adjustable. The problem with that is, is they can be easily moved sometimes, but uh, depending on what fuel you're burning, there's definitely an optimum position of this nozzle. This one likes being darn near straight up inside the unit. Weird. So, performed very well. Definitely uh, going to have to make this thing for waste oil though. Burning diesel is just too expensive. Not too many people are going to be doing that. But then again, finding waste oil is impossible sometimes. And I, I don't know if this is cheaper than propane or not. But it could possibly be. Especially if you're using farm diesel. Or the low sulfur or whatever they call it. The non-highway diesel fuel. So there you have that. Before I do any other changes to this thing, I want to look at the video and see what's going on. But for the most part, it looks like I'm just going to have to choose if this is going to be diesel or waste oil. The gate's just a little big. The nozzle's definitely doing some weird stuff.